Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time, I got a cool video for you guys if you're interested. I got my first CGC submission of the year. If you want to see what books I'm sending off to CGC, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in timely fashion. Like I said, I got a stack of books here. I'm going to be sending them off to um, CGC. This is my first submission of the year. I had not done a submission since uh, probably like, I don't know, the fall of last year, which was like a, a book or two. But um, I'm excited. I've been compiling some of these books. Since uh, I've been here on, on uh, work for uh, contract in Colorado, which is now winding up, uh, which, you know, by the time you see this video, it had already finished. And these books are already on their way to the presser. Um, built up a bit of uh, credits from the presser and been just compiling books. So books I think are, you know, worth sending off or just worth preserving. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got. So it's 11 books total. Eight are going to be Golden Age, two, um, two Moderns, and I believe one is Silver Age. So in no particular order, I'm just going to show you off the books and uh, tell you a little bit about them. This is uh, Captain Marvel Adventures, issue number 77. This was actually a book I won from uh, Jerry the Jitterbug's 1,000 subscriber contest giveaway. So, uh, really cool book. Uh, <laughs> pretty, a few different things going on here. The Secret Life of Captain Marvel. Um, at the time of this recording, I now have two Captain Marvel adventure books in the PC. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. And I'm going to send this up. Basically, just, you know... To get it preserved, a lot of these books are, uh, you know, very old. This is from the 19, I think this is 1940s. I don't know offhand, but uh, actually, let's open it up and find out. Makes it easier, right? Let's take a look real quick. It's in better shape than the one I just picked up recently. This is from 1946. So, uh, just after the war. So, uh, pretty old, pretty old book. And books like these, I just feel like, you know, you enjoy them, and then you try to preserve them when you can. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send it off and just get it graded. Next book, uh, I've showed this book off before. I picked this up at a comic show here in Denver. Pretty scarce book. And you get, whenever you find this book in the wild, you get it graded. It does not matter what grade it is, how bad it is. You get this book graded. This is Punch Comics issue number 13. Really, really cool cover. Pre-code horror. This is, um, as you can see, a little skeleton there trying to grab her, throwing into it into her grave. So this is a really cool book to get. Punch 12 is obviously one of the most expensive pre-code horror covers out there. This one comes right after it and I uh, was happy to pick that up. So this one is detached. As you can see it has a lot of condition issues but uh, even at a 0 0.5 to 1.0 it's still a very desirable book. Um, next book is a really cool book. This is um, early cold war this is date with danger issue number six it's only a two issue series um, another pretty scarce book to find in any condition this is a vg so um, i think it'll help out with a, a press and a cleaning as well a lot of action going on here it's just a great cover all right next book is your one of your modern books here this is World War, Hulk, uh, World War Hulk, issue number five. This is the one in 25 done by uh, John Romita Jr. Just a nice cover. Uh, I do believe this is the first appearance of Scar, I believe. Not the first hole or whatever. I'm not sure, but um, 
pretty desirable book. And I'm hoping that book's a 9.6 to 9.8. This next book, on the other hand, is going to be complete opposite range of this grading spectrum. I expect this book to be a 0.5 to a 1.0. But nonetheless, a really cool book. Another pre-code horror. This is Eerie, number 6 from Avon. Another monster cover with a damsel in distress. Beautiful cover. This book is detached on the front and back cover. And uh, it does have some condition issues, as you can see. But nonetheless, even in a 0.5 to a 1.0, it is worth preserving and getting it graded. And I don't have much into the book. So that helps as well. Um, next book, I showed this in a recent pickup. This is, is this tomorrow? No number. America under communism. Another, you know, Cold War cover. Really cool. Um, pretty funny book in the back. It tells you about the, uh, the Ten Commandments of, uh, I guess, to avoid communism. <laughs> so it was pretty, uh, pretty funny uh, read. Um, next book. Another Golden Age book. This is True Comics, issue number 36. This is uh, another war cover. A lot, of, a lot of action going on in here on the front cover. Um, another book that I didn't pay much for, but I think it's just cool to grade. I think I only paid 20 bucks for it. But um, nonetheless, it's going off for grading. Um, next book is just a fun book. I ended up just picking this up for 30 bucks. It is pretty, uh, I guess, uh, only about 2,000 known to exist, probably a little less. This is Dell Four Color, issue number 359. First appearance of Frosty the Snowman in comics. It was a pretty fun read as well. Um, there is a Santa Claus appearance. I do expect this to be a 4.5 or slightly better, probably, probably a little better with a cleaning. It does have a stain on the back. Um, next book, you, this is the one and only Silver Age book I do have for this submission, and this is ASM, issue number 51. First cover appearance of The Punisher, second appearance of The Punisher. Great John Romita cover. This is just a classic. doesn't need <laughs> any more explanation than that. All right. Um, next book, this is the last of the modern books. This is... Immortal Hulk, issue number 50. This is the 1 in 100 Kirby cover. Um, this should be a 9.8. Never opened up the book. I bought it when it came out on New Comic Book Day when I met up with Carlito. And uh, it's just a cool cover. Um, so I wanted to get that graded. And then the last book, the last uh, Golden Age book, this is Out of the Night. Issue number 11 from American Comics Groups. And uh, this is just a really cool electrocution cover. As you can see, the uh, villain there is electrocuting um, a soldier there on the side. So, pretty cool cover. Um, I expect this to be a 2.0 or better. Uh, it, does, it will benefit from a cleaning and pressing. And I do believe it has... Yeah, water stain. So uh, that will help out a little bit, hopefully. You never know with these water stains and how extensive it is. But uh, nonetheless, it is a cool book. I just love the cover. So that's it. That's my 11 book um, submission going off. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And uh, until next time, Mark's Part the Comics, out.